What's going on, everybody? I'm Mrs. Prime85 coming at you with another video, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Velocitron Speedia Scourge. Before we take a look at the figure, we will take a look at the packaging. As you can see, we have their new closed leader class boxes. I'm not the biggest fan of these because I do prefer to see the figures, and when they announced that they would be packaged in vehicle mode, I was very excited thinking this was going to look like the original. Robots in the Sky Scourge box, so you can see the figure, but no, we got this. But nevertheless, it is very cool. As you can see, we have the same art that was on the Laser Prime box, just in Scourge colors. On the side, same thing. On the top, the CGI render of the figure. Uh, then the truck up top again. On the side, just a continuation of Scourge. On the bottom, the Velocitron Speedia logo, a bunch of other things. On the back, you have the product pictures for this figure. So there's the box. One thing I will caution you on is when you are ordering this figure, as it is a Walmart exclusive, I ordered it on walmart.com and it showed up all smashed and destroyed. And you know me, I like my boxes. So I was a little upset about that because I then went to Walmart like a week later and they had eight of these guys sitting on the shelves with the boxes being completely pristine. But the figure did show up completely fine, so it's no big deal. But now we will move on to taking a look at Scourge or Nemesis Prime, depending on what you would like to call him. And as you can see, he is the exact same mold as the Legacy Laser Prime, uh, as he should be. Uh, one thing about this figure that a lot of people don't like is how it's more of a Nemesis Prime color scheme than uh, Robots in Disguise Scourge. Uh, yes, it is completely different. Uh, there's a lot more black than there is gray and teal, but I mean, you know me, I love Nemesis Prime, so I do really enjoy this figure. But later, we will take a look at the trailer when we get him in vehicle mode, so we'll put that off to the side for now. But here is Scourge, and I... Like I just said, I love this figure. Just under all these lights, the glossy black, he just, he looks amazing. He's such a good looking figure, but we will zoom in and a closer look at the figure. We've got this amazing head sculpt with that red light piping, making him look very menacing. You got the teal on the inside. You got the, I believe it was the upside down Combaticon logos. I might be wrong on that. You might need to correct me. But going down, you got more teal, a little bit of silver, the gray sword, some more teal. Yeah, I, I really do like this figure. Uh, articulation is exactly the same as it was on Laser Prime. The arms can go out all the way. Uh, if you move this bit up, it can extend all the way on a ratchet. They can go back, not that far. There is bicep rotation on a mushroom peg. Uh, the arms can get ex like exactly 90 degrees, and then the hands can rotate as they are on a ball joint for transformation. Uh, you can also move these out of the way just to accommodate posing, but there's not really any need to. Uh, I, the head, ball joint, obviously. Uh, coming down here, it is built on top of the Earthrise Prime Mold legs, so you can Get the waist rotation, the legs do come forward all the way. It can actually go backwards, about that far. There is the uh, hip rotation right there. Uh, the knees can bend just a little over 90. And there is ankle pivot. And you can do that if you want to. So that's a, that's a thing you can do if you really want to. Uh, and then you can close the toes if you want to, but that is for transformation. So, there we go. Now we will move on to probably my favorite part of any review are the comparisons. So first we will do his mold mate. We've got Laser Prime. As you can see, like I said, they are the exact same figure, just different colors. But I do feel like this mold fits Scourge or Nemesis a lot better. And there's Prime. Uh, here he is with the Netflix Prime on the Earthrise mold. 
Uh, he is around the same height uh, head-wise. He's just a little bit shorter. And then there is the shoulder stacks that do make him a significantly taller. There's Prime. Uh, just because here he is with Legacy. Is it Jaxus? I believe. I don't know much about this character, but this is a very fun figure. I would highly recommend picking that up if you can find him because he's very similar to uh, Kingdom Cyc Kingdom Cyclonus or was it Earthrise? I think it was Kingdom. But Kingdom Cyclonus is a great figure as it has virtually no kibble and he's just super fun to mess with. He is exactly the same way, so I would highly recommend picking him up if you can find him. And last, we've got the Netflix spoiler pack, Nemesis Prime. And these two are very cool together. Don't get me wrong, I do love the Netflix figure as it, it's just, it's classic uh, G1 Prime. But something about this guy, just I feel like it pulls off the Nemesis look so much more. But now we will move on to the fun part, and that is transformation. So first, I'll remove the sword. You can actually take a closer look at the sword. It's exactly the same as Laser Prime's, just done in a translucent pink. Very cool. I do wish that a lot of these weapons were uh, solid plastic instead of the, instead of being transparent for their Energon weapons, but okay, it's a thing that. Hasbro wanted to do, so I'm not going to complain. And then there is his axe, which is exactly the same as Laser Prime's. Oh, and one thing I did forget to touch on is the little missiles in his shoulders, done in all transparent pink. So that's pretty cool. All right, now we can get on to... Never mind, I keep forgetting things, guys. This is what happens when you disappear for six months. You forget how to do these videos. But you can pop the chest open, and you've got the Matrix in there. So, there's the Matrix. All right, now I think we're done. Now I think we can go to transformation, right? Yes? Okay, let's do it. So, first thing you want to do is close the feet and put the legs together. You can open up these panels like you can on the Siege and Earthrise mold. I don't really like to do that just because it kind of angles the front of the truck more, but this is part of the transformation, but I'm going to leave them in just because that's my preference. Uh, then you come here, you open up the arms, and you can see the ball joint in the hands, and you close it up. Same thing on this side. Okay, now you can come here, lift these up slightly, just like that, so you can have a little bit of room. Uh, you can come back here, grab this, that. Then you want to take this bit right here and close that up. I forgot to show that. It's kind of... Meant to replicate a little jetpack or something on the back of them. Good. And then you can come back to the chest, you open that up, and you want to fold that down slightly. Okay. Then you want to bring the whole waist back, and that'll release the arms. You can just bring those back and out for now. You can take these bits, bring these down. Now you can close that all the way and bring it almost all the way in. Okay. And then Rotate that. Then you want to take the arms, rotate them at the bicep, and you want to push them all the way under. Make sure you do do this before closing everything because there's that little tab that you need to have. I'm not sure how good the lighting is right now because this is a darker figure. So if you can't see, my apologies, but you can do the exact same thing on the other side. Rotate it. Close everything up, make sure everything's flush. Now you can take this, bring that all the way in, and then you can take this whole assembly, bring it down, bring the legs out, and then close those sides up, and that locks it in. And you can take these, and they will tab in back there. Then you can take the front of the truck, close it up, make sure everything pops in, lock it together, bring down the cab, Sure those stay tabbed in so this is the part where i can show you you take these and then there's that little tab on the end that goes into that slot right there you put those in but i just i don't know i kind of it looks better yes but i just it's it's not something you need to do but for the sake of the video i might as well so there you go you lock that in and then you take the gas cans and fold them out exactly the same as earthrise prime
And then you can take his trailer, which we will look at. And as you can see, it is exactly the same as Laser Prime, but this time painted in silver. I do think it looks a lot better. Uh, we can show off the base mode. Um, probably should have done that in robot mode, but you open these up, bring these down, you take the ramp, bring that down, and let's see if I can do a better angle. Then you take this, rotate it, bring that down, that locks in right there, and then bring that little arm down. You fold the gun up, and there is the base mode. Um, I've never really been a fan of all the base modes that have been coming out with the last couple years, but eh, it's something you can do if you want to have that playability. But now we'll turn it back into the trailer. I do like these very simple transformations. You want to take this leg this time, though, and bring that in. And then that'll tab in, and then we can put it onto Scourge. Where's the hole? There it is. And there you have Scourge in his classic oil tanker mode. And this does look amazing. I do really, really like how this thing looks. Like, this is... This was probably one of my most anticipated figures ever since they revealed the, uh, the Laser Prime mold. And then we started getting the leaks that it was going to be a Walmart exclusive, and I was getting really disappointed because I was on vacation when pre-orders went live. I didn't know if I was going to be able to get one in, but I was able to get one. Finally able to have a classic Scourge, because this is really more Nemesis Prime. Uh, I do really hope we do get maybe a Gen Selex figure uh, in the classic Scourge colors, or even Toy Hacks. I check Toy Hacks maybe every single day to see if they uh, put up a Scourge set. But yeah, there you have it. So if you are not subscribed, make sure you are and you do hit the bell icon because as you can see from my upload history it's very random uh, i will i've legit i don't know what's been going on but i just randomly disappear for a few months because i haven't had that desire to review anything but now i'm kind of i've gotten a lot of stuff so i've definitely got an arsenal of things I can review. So like I said, hit that bell icon so you're notified. If I do upload, make sure to hit that like button because uh, it does help me out. Uh, make sure to leave a comment down below if there's any figures you would like me to review because I've got a lot. The last few months I've been focusing on Hot Toys a lot. Uh, I've got 10 Hot Toys figures that I can put a review out on if you guys would like me to because they are very fun to put under lights and get ready. So yeah, thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.